Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan or Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm be showing you guys how to do some dynamic lighting in Photoshop. So, essentially, here's a picture of Kenny Galladay, just a quick studio setting. Um, as opposed to like a direct tutorial, I think I'm gonna make this more of a walkthrough because it'll just be easier for me to explain. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into that. So here, just have a regular studio setting. Um, you can just Google like black studio or anything like that. And then I went ahead and added some whites. And so I did this with just using soft light and a normal, normal group. Um, the soft light was to be a little more subtle, and then just went on normal to emphasize. I just put a little backlight, taken from the leak, uh, or putting it from the top to emphasize the leak. And then I put a little one down below, more of like an oval shape. As you can see, that's where uh, the masks or Kenny Galladay's feet are. So just to highlight that a little bit. Then I also went ahead and I sampled the uh, the uh, jersey color, and I threw it behind him, put it on overlay, lowered the opacity a little bit. So that's that. All right, now this is where the real lighting takes place. Also, I went ahead and threw some shadows beneath his feet. If you don't know how to do that, I already dropped a tutorial on that, um, so feel free to check that out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, get into the, the more of the lighting itself. So I went ahead and started with two curve layers. I have a dark and a light. Um, so as you can see here, I'm more so emphasizing the edges. So since it's um, trying to be, or I'm trying to go for like more dynamic lighting, um, the darks and the lights are going to be really, really emphasized. So as you can see in the final product, the lighting is coming from the top. So I want the darks, which are like his front side, to be very, very dark. He's backlit essentially. Um, so it creates almost a silhouette format. So. This first curve, I was very generous with how I used it. I just threw it very uh, dark, and then I just kind of almost brushed the entire mask. And then I also did the opposite for a light one. Um, but as you can see here, I just went went throughout and I just highlighted almost the um, the light parts. So uh, I just kind of took what the image gave me. Essentially, just look at the image, and as you can see, the height or the highlights are are uh, highlighted here, and then I just went ahead and and followed what it gave me. And so that's that's where that took me. Um, I went ahead and threw another black layer to really emphasize the darks here. And then I added an exposure. Okay, so what I did for this is I went to Camera Raw. Here, I'll show you guys how I did this. I went and I merged, selected all these and merged them. Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And then bump your exposure down a lot, up the contrast. Maybe up the highlights a little bit, but essentially this is what I did. I just went here and I just altered the settings through camera raw um, to get some almost black. Like as you can see, like it's very dark. Um, and so, yeah, I went ahead and let me put that mask back on the clip mask. So I went ahead and I just emphasized the darks again, uh, lowered the opacity just a tad. And then I went and I did the same thing with the uh, the white, the white um, or the lights. Um, but when merging for the lights, don't select the dark group just because that's already very underexposed. So overexposing it won't look as what or won't look as accurate. So I just selected these again and did the opposite for the whites. So as you can see here, I continue just to make a silhouette outline. Just follow what the image gives me here, and um, just almost just highlighting his edges. So then I went ahead and I added a white overlay uh, gr uh, layer. Sorry. This is more so just to emphasize his face and his other body parts. I don't want him like to be an entire silhouette. Like I want it to be like noticeable. Like I think you here, like you could tell like that's Kenny Galladay. If I went too dark here, you wouldn't really be able to see the face. And I don't know, you can only tell by the number, I guess. So <laughs> you wanna you wanna be able to see his face. So just brighten that up a little bit. And then I, I darken the rest of his body with with another uh, dark and curved group. So that's the mask itself, um, and that's where that leaves us. Now we're gonna add an overlay group. So what I did here is I threw particles, I, or I don't know, just dust particles. You could look that up on Google. You should be able to find some stuff like this. Put them on uh, color dodge, and I just kind of brushed them in. As you can see here, um, since I have the leak at the top, as you can see here, I want it to be more of like a particles coming down from the leak, like that, like dust, because um, that that happens. So. <laughs> and then I went ahead and I got a similar jersey color, but I lightened it up a little bit, more of like a scion teal, as opposed to that dark lines blue. Uh, put it on color dodge, 
copied it and put it on linear dodge and um, just used the uh, the layer mask to to lighten and darken other parts but really put that emphasis on the center and then as it went more so on the edges I lessened it up a little bit but you really want to emphasize that that backlight um, because the uh, the edges are so strong so they have to be coming from somewhere all right now here's where, where the magic takes place um, this is the just some basic color correction so I went to camera raw I'll, I'll do this so you guys can see as you can see here I just kind of emphasized what was there so I'll go to filter camera raw filter after you merge all those layers and then I just upped the exposure up the contrast maybe and then up the highlights a little bit or a little bit um camera raw is just a good way of essentially doing all those things at once and then up the up the texture and then bump that clarity up a little bit and that's that's what we have here um but i lowered the opacity so it's a little more subtle to 80 70 range um an opacity fill and uh, that's that now we have our black and white one this is where i went a little bit extreme um so once again you want to copy all of these go to merge these layers okay and then go to filter camera raw filter click on this here presets you'll see black and white um so look through here and choose what you believe looks best i believe for this one i think i went with high contrast so i went with high contrast here um you can see it really emphasizes those those uh white lines and that outline i like that a lot so put that on uh normal and then i added another one on overlay to emphasize it but yeah i did go with high contrast so um yeah always play with blend modes um i think like you can never you can never really know what you're going to get if you don't uh you could always get something different and you could either like or not like how it looks but you won't know unless you try it so just always experiment i think is the best way not even just for this but just designing in general experimentation will lead to uh improvement so i i highly recommend just experimenting with blend modes is, is a great way to start um and then i add another curve curve layer to uh, up the the appearance or the opacity of of the leak went ahead and added a uh photo filter crisp winter to bring out those blues a little bit um lower the opacity on that and then play with the with the uh, layer mask I did a levels. Okay, so to do this, you're just gonna go to levels, and then I believe I just, yeah, drag it from the left to bring out the, the lights, and you can drag it from the right to bring out the darks. So you could use that to also, it almost acts as curves, but in a different way. Um, I can see here that brings it out very strong. And then the finishing touch, it's just a regular white brush. Um, just threw that on like this, and then lower the opacity, like that to make almost like a dreamy type type vibe. So yeah, a little strong, but there you go, looks good. All right, so that's that's basically how I went that, almost like a, or went went about uh, doing this dynamic lighting, almost like a design breakdown as opposed to a straight tutorial, but regardless, I hope I got the point across. Um, I just wanted to be a little bit more conservative with it with the time. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys benefit, benefited from this. Um, as always, if you have any questions, comment them down below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, hit me up on social media. i probably hit you back faster on there. Um, those will be in the description down below. So that's pretty much all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all you guys' support lately. Um, I'm trying to pump these videos out as, as often as I can. But um, college is, is getting up with me a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, have a good one and deuces, fellas.